Hello, interwebs. Today is Monday, August 28th, 2017. Got another news sports video thing. Starting off, NFL stuff. Just gonna, yeah, get get my notes. Get get some notes. That these are the notes I take. If you're curious, you can get a nice look at it. So yeah, Julie Julian Edelman tore his ACL. Most likely out for the season. ACL is a major tear. Whenever you tear your ACL, you're out quite a while. Usually six to twelve months, out of what I've seen. Um. Big hit for the Patriots, one of their top receivers. Um, but, you know, they're still the Patriots, so they're still going to do good probably, but you never know. Uh, but that's definitely going to impact their season. Tyrod Taylor, quarterback for the Buffalo Bills, got a, a concussion. He got a concussion. That's where he kick a can and injure it. No. He got a concussion, so they don't know how long he's going to be out. Um Spencer Ware, running back for the Chiefs, he tore his PCL, I think, something in his knee, and he is most likely going to need season-ending surgery, which sucks for them because they just uh, got rid of, not got, well, basically got rid of, cut Jamal Jamal Charles, who was their running back, because he kept getting hurt and stuff. So now they have him, and he's injured. Um, the Browns, the Cleveland Browns, have announced Deshaun Kaiser as their Week One starter, and everyone thought it was going to be. Well, not everyone, but people thought it was going to be uh, Brock Osweiler because he had two great games or whatever in Denver, and they got to the Super Bowl, and everyone's like, he's going to be great. And then he went to Houston, and he did not do well at all. So they traded him to the Browns, and he is not starting. So he's probably on an emotional roller coaster. So, yeah, um, other thing, it's sports-related, but I'm um, just going just gonna to hold on. So the um, – Got got three things here. The Cowboys Texans preseason game got moved from Houston, the NRG Stadium, to the AT&T Stadium in Dallas due to the hurricane. The Astros, because of their weather predicament, have been moved to Tampa Bay and are playing in like Tropicana Stadium or something. For their home games, they play the Rangers. And then the LSU. BYU game is supposed to be an NRG that got moved to the Superdome in New Orleans. So yeah. Oh man, I get, I get to pull this hat out, uh, the neutral hat, the the um unknown. You don't know what I'm about. To, well, I showed you my notes, so if you read that, you know what's coming. But the big deal, the big event of the year, the Floyd Mayweather, um, Conor McGregor fight, um. You know, the last one, I heard about it. I heard it was overhyped to, like, the Pacquiao Mayweather. heard it was a boring fight. So I wasn't really looking forward to this one. I was like, oh, it's just going to be the same thing. It's going to be boring, overhyped, and all that stuff. And, like, the pre, they get all that media attention because of the pre-fight, them getting up face-to-face, -face, yelling at each other, like, being like, oh, you suck. No, you suck. All that kind of stuff. And, um, like, I'm going to beat you. No, I'm going to beat you. They do all this stuff for media attention, obviously. And so then the fight, I was reading updates on ESPN. Seemed like a pretty intense fight. Watched the highlights, yeah. But uh, you could tell McGregor, he went after it first four rounds, and then he just got tired throughout the stretch. 8, 9, 10, rounds 8, 9, 10. You could really just tell he was worn out because uh, Mayweather wasn't able to get a full blow usually because McGregor would just run up to him and pretty much hug him so he wouldn't be able to get a full power punch or whatever you want to call it. That's just what I'm calling it off the top of my head. And so, yeah, and then the TKO in the 10th round, and Mayweather won 50-0. and 0. He's going into retirement. So, yeah, the, the big thing, you know, that, that was the event of the year. So, Brandon Knight plays for the Suns, um, point guard, shooting guard, something like that. Uh, he tore his ACL, so uh, I was talking about the ACL injuries earlier. They're bad. They're not good. Uh, so, he'll be out quite a while. Uh, Nerlens Noel signed a one-year deal with the Mavs. I think it's worth $4.1 million, maybe. Let me check that real quick. Let, let me see. Let me see what my news has to say. Um, that's $4.1 million. Yes, I was correct. So $4.1 million for Nerlens Noel to stay in Dallas. Um, next thing. Well, there's only one more thing for the NBA. 
Um, the Cavaliers, they ran a physical on Isaiah Thomas, and his hip is a little, 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 um, can't think of a word here, a little border, bordery, I don't know, um, scary, little, whoa, they, they're a little cautious right now, because they did the physical, his hip is still not in the best condition, and so they are now asking for, because the trade has not been finalized, it'll be finalized at the end of the week, I believe. So they have not finalized it, which means, well, I don't know. It, it means that the trade hasn't happened yet, officially. So what the Cavs want now, they want more from Boston because of his injury. They want Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum, which is insane. You don't, two of those guys are, those guys are most likely going to be starters. You really want to give up two-year starters, and, or three-year starters, no, two-year starters, one of your key bench players. And a draft pick, and then some other guy. Um, really, you want to trade all that just for one guy? That that's insane. Um, so I don't. That's not good. If if I'm Boston, I'm saying no to that. I I'd, I'd rather give up another draft pick than give up uh, Jason Tatum or Jalen or Jalen Brown. Yeah, but um, that's a little over the top for them. But Cleveland, they can. They might take advantage of it and go a little too far, and Boston's be like, no, we'll give you this instead, and that's what they really wanted, maybe. They might kind of make it high expectation, then Boston tries to meet them in the middle, and then um, Cleveland gets what they want, and then Boston will end up like, ah, dang it, I oh, wish we hadn't done that. But I honestly don't know. I think it will be fine, as is Isaiah Thomas. He's a good player. Uh, Jay Crowder's good. Um, I don't know about Zizek. I don't know about him. Draft pick, it's going to be top three most likely because the Nets are not the best team. They're really acquiring that trade or that pick from the Nets, the Cleveland is, because of that trade a few years ago that I've mentioned in the past. And then Cleveland or Cincinnati. I was about to say Cincinnati. Um, Boston receiving Kyrie Irving, one of the best point guards in the league. Uh, he could definitely lead that team. He is had championship playoff experience, which I think goes goes really good, far in the long run. So that's all. That's all I got for for today. I mentioned the hurricane people that had to get relocated. Uh, pray pray for those people, the families impacted by that hurricane. Um, that they will stay safe and that their homes. And that where they are, that they will just be able to get out safely, and that they can just, yeah, be safe. So, bye, internet.